Only video game delays Batman! Rocksteady has announced that the upcoming Batman Arkham Knight has been delayed until 2015. The game was announced just three months ago and was set for an October release. No word has been given on why the game is being delayed, but at least we have a new look at the Batmobile, so follow the link to check out the new footage. The next PlayStation update is upon us. According to the PlayStation Twitter account, the console is due for firmware update 1.71. Oddly enough, no announcements have been made on the PlayStation blog at this time on what the update might contain, but the tweet urges users to turn on automatic updates for the console for when the firmware goes live. I'm taking a shot in the dark here, but I hope it's a free game for life. Probably not. Nintendo has revealed just how well their latest release has done, as Mario Kart 8 has sold over 1.2 million units in just 72 hours. This counts for worldwide sales across North America, Europe, and Japan, as all territories received the game over the weekend. In a statement, Nintendo of America's president, Reggie fils writes that, The early response to Mario Kart 8 demonstrates that the best days for Wii U are still ahead. This year's E3 is just days away, and it will be all about the future games for Nintendo platforms. This milestone is a great place to start. So how about it, Rays fans? Have you been enjoying the game so far? Let us know what you think in the comments. In a recent interview with Game Informer, Naughty Dog revealed that the next Uncharted title isn't the only game in the works. The studio split into two separate teams following the release of Uncharted 2, and while one team has been toiling away at Uncharted for the PS4, studio president Evan Wells said, We definitely have another project on the scale of Uncharted in very early pre-production stages. We have the sizable team that it takes to get something like that off the ground, but it's got a long runway in front of it. We have a lot of great ideas and some stuff that is already getting everybody jazzed and excited. So it's a long way off before we can really start talking about it in detail. What do you guys think this new game might be? A return to an older IP like Jack and Daxter or something brand new? Sound off in the comments. Crytek has revealed its new four-player co-op title, Hunt Horrors of the Gilded Age, with a very cool looking trailer. The game is set in the 1800s and is described as a fine, chilling new multiplayer experience on PC and consoles. The action apparently takes place in third person and will task four players with fighting off hordes of evil and hunting down bosses. Closed beta is planned to kick off later this year, and in the meantime, you can follow the link to check out the trailer. Speaking of Crytek, Nintendo has announced the release date for Sonic Boom, the first Wii U game to take advantage of CryEngine. Both the Wii U game, Sonic Boom Rise of the Lyric, and the 3DS game dubbed Shattered Crystal will be available this November. Players will be able to unlock bonuses for the Wii U version when playing the 3DS game. And that's your fix for June 3rd. I'm Naomi Kyle, and be sure to get your fix anytime online at IGN. Like today's episode of The Daily Fix? Make sure to subscribe to IGN News. We'll bring you updates on video games, movies, TV, and tech all day, every day. Subscribe at youtube.com slash IGN News.